Okay, so what I'm doing here is taking these two modines out. Well, I've taken one of these modines out and I'm going to plumb it to one side. And the reason is these are 63,000 B2 modines and they're way too big for what I'm trying to do. So I'm going to try running one off one of these lines and see if that works. Um, by works, I mean blows hot air because before it was blowing cold air because they were pulling it was just pulling all the heat out of the water so that's what i'm gonna do and uh yeah i'll show you when i'm all done first thing you do is break a connection like it's so i just push this is my removal tool um i just opened up a little bit and so basically all the water from the modines is dripping down to here and is going to drain so that these are going to be empty when I go to actually take them down. Um, if you're smart and or wealthy, uh, you install drains everywhere so you can just open a drain and do this. And it's so much easier, but I didn't do that because I didn't want to spend the money because I grew up in Vermont and I'm cheap. So, yeah. Or if you're impatient, just pull the pipe all the way off and dump water everywhere. It's so much more fun and faster. Um, also, wear these gloves. Aren't those cool? These are like neoprene, grippy. I don't know. My buddy got them for me. He works in the pool business. And uh, they're wicked warm. I don't know why I have to whisper that part. Anyway, so now that I've got that, I'm going to take it down. Ooh, maybe I'll, I'll let you watch how difficult it is to take it down because it's so heavy. So first thing you do is try to hold on to it. Take the nuts off. That one. And that one. Okay. Try and walk down the ladder with it. These things weigh probably around 100 pounds or so. Okay, so there's that one going. Say goodbye. And now, what I'm going to do is basically elbow. Let me actually get the camera near. Elbow over. Um, so I'll take these things off. Ooh, let me show you how that little nifty tool works. This thing is the shark bite removal tool. Put the solid side, not this side, this side, towards your fingers. Like so. Come on. And the open side towards the valve. And then you just push, like so, and uh, the thing eventually comes off. And generally I do it with two hands, but <coughs> look at that. Then you get to crawl underneath your trailer and go get your tool. Because what are the odds? This humongous garage that it would go under there. Not only go under there, but go under there like seven feet in. Just out of reach. That is the removal tool. Ridiculous. It's the most ridiculous demo of a tool I've ever given. All right, so I'll give you another one up there. I think actually it's actually too decent. All right, take the tool, slide it on, pull it this way. Just like that, look at that. Same thing with to get you near the action here. Same thing with the uh, one inch pecs, except I do that every time. Put the tool on the right way. This one. Oh, come on. I'm on camera. Don't do this to me. See? Simple. Um, there's these little... 
caps that go inside. Uh, you see it in there. But these fittings are, re are reusable. They'll connect one inch pecs to copper. You could probably put a rubber hose in there. No, not really. Um, they connect a couple different types of pipe. And uh, you should totally use them. I wish I were paid by Shark Bite. I wish I could say this video brought to you by Shark Bite. But you got to be kidding me. That little plastic thing. No, it didn't. It's right there. Okay. So anyway, I'm going to put some elbows on there and uh, turn the water back on. All right. So I got the, both the elbows soldered on just for the little downs. Um, not the cleanest soldering job, but that's the way it goes. I didn't have my rag on me. Otherwise, I cleaned the solder off. That's the drips and stuff. So now I'm going to basically get uh, shark bite couplings. Uh, let me not point it at me and show you what I'm doing. Uh, shark bite coupling, put it on here, connect it up to there. And I have those right around here somewhere. Uh, here's one. I have an open one too. I'm so organized. Aren't you impressed? So that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so I got my couplings in. And now I'm going to go fill it with water. See what happens. It is blowing warm! I can't tell you how excited I am! God, I put so much work into these Modine heaters. Installing them and then fixing the leak and then finding out they were too big. It is blowing warm. Like I can stand in this air and it's comfortable. Yeah! So excited. 